as you watch the previous video, do you start thinking about ways to get around the 90 gram maximum of sugar that you can have each day? Note that the 90 grams of sugar per UK government guidelines you can consume per day has nothing to do with how many carbohydrates you eat each day. This is a separate number that you should be tracking. Here are some common behaviors that predict sugar addition. You eat too much, if there are some foods that you just can't stop eating, assume they're likely high in sugar. Sugar doesn't make you satiated, so it's hard to stop. This is made worse if sugar is combined with sodium and fat. For example, you may be eating donuts which are also high in salt and fat, but would you eat them without the sugar? Doubtful you crave processed carbohydrates, if you're often craving refined carbs like chips, crackers, and bread, then you may just have a problem with sugar. Often, eliminating added sugars can reduce cravings that you're having for high processed carbs over time. You crave salty foods, with processed foods, salt and sugar go together very well. If you feel like you could lick a salt lick and be happy, you may be addicted to sugar. Look at the amount of sugar in the snacks you normally eat. If they're highly processed, you can bet they have too much added sugar. You crave meat, this might seem strange, but if you crave meat when you don't need it and aren't that hungry, you may be craving the spices that are often on meat such as wing sauce which is very high in sugar. Every meal is high in sugar, is your typical meal higher in sugar than it should be? Keep in mind that a maximum of 90 grams is a maximum. It doesn't mean you need to eat that much sugar. If you feel bad and aren't healthy, you can always cut that amount down. The best way to do that is to avoid added sugars and only eat sugar that is naturally in plants. You get moody without sugar, if you find that you are often feeling grumpy and moody, the problem might sugar. If you often suffer dips and rises in blood sugar, when you have a dip you will suffer from grumpy moods. This can be exacerbated by eating sugary things like candy which will provide a fast jump and a quick fall. You feel powerless over sugar, do you ever feel like you don't even want to eat that sugary snack but you do it anyway because you know it'll make you feel better? This is common in people who work long days, students especially. Eating a sugary snack will indeed help temporarily, but you'd do far better eating a fruit snack with only natural sugars and fiber to help slow down the sugar absorption. You start and end your day with sugar, look at your entire day. What do you eat in the morning? What do you eat before bed? What is the first and last thing you eat each day? If you're eating sugar in the morning and at night, especially added processed sugar and not sugar in whole plants, then that is a sign that you may have an addiction to sugar. You suffer a 3 p.m. slump, if you work in an office, you'll notice this a lot more than if you are retired or work from home. But pay attention if somewhere after lunch you start falling asleep while you're working or feel as if you need a nap. Look at your diet. Are you giving yourself energy for lunch or are you setting yourself up for a sugar crash? If you are going through any of these issues, it is wise to calculate how much sugar you're eating on any given day. Most people eat double the sugar maximum of 90 grams a day due to added and processed sugars, including hidden sugars.